Hey, how you doing today? I'm back. Let's get down to the story who a mom that P-I-M-P and pimp up movement is the womb man world doing what I do best. It was started a long time ago and now we here just to put it together. We talked about black leadership. Black leadership and where have they led us over the last 40 years, just say 20 years, get some of them off the hook. Just say 20 years. Where have it led us, actually? It has led us into the slaughter. It has led our children into an educational system that though with no representation, it's, we, we do taxation without representation because nobody's there to monitor what's going on. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to wake you up. Wake up. Wake up time. Yes. And the first thing that we did was on Farrakhan and his leadership and where as he led us and why as he continued uh, to, to do these things. First of all, if you want to lead something, I challenge you to read the state constitution of the state of Chicago. I challenge all your members to read the state constitution wherever whatever state that they're in and to teach that and bring that format I challenge you to go to the courtrooms and stand outside the courtrooms to guard the people that's being kidnapped I challenge you to make a change in the present schooling system I challenge you to do these things and you say well if you're doing that what am I doing I am the overseer I am the one that uh, is explaining to the people that something is not right because you have led the people into a slaughter and let's be talking about Falcon now let's go to another so-called leader on another level of leadership now we talk about the preachers you see we got, you got J.D. whoever, you got Teflo Dollar, you got, we're not talking about the ones that's, that's, that's gone, but their family is still picking up their, uh, what they call their, their, their congregation, or their ministry, their ministry, right. But see, now, we don't move to the Islam part, right? We're going to skip the Hebrews because that's still in effect. It may be a little bit of things that's not right, but they're on the right road, especially with the Sabbath. The Sabbath is very important because with the Sabbath, it takes you away from being kidnapped. It gives you your rituals, and it's supposed to give women back their leadership as tribal leaders, and creators on earth. See these particular scientific facts is not being taught. They say that women give birth but they don't say that women creates in her womb. But they don't understand the things that women go through now. The pain and the suffering. It should not be. And only because they themselves were put and led into a slaughter. They bleed every month when they should not they should not bleed. You see? It's a way for the system to cleanse itself out without blood and every element, iron, phosphate, calcium, gold, silver, lead, everything that's in copper, everything that's in that blood, they'll do they'll do doing that she don't need to bleed like that and these are the things that those who picked up what they call religion and tried to master that when they should have picked up the law what happened was they gave people a priority to say okay you want religion you can have religion 
but you will not know the Lord. So, the first people that was able to read was the preachers. And they were only allowed to read the Bible. And this was the plan to bring in a scripture that was translated and all the important facts was taken out. And it gave you just a, a summary and it didn't take you all the way back to the Sumerian culture where the first language was cuneiform. And then from the cuneiform, right, then they had the Hindu, right, which led to the Hebrew and the Arabic. That's why if you know about Pakistan and the Hindu countries, right, they speak about Krishna. And Krishna is close to Christ. Christ was the Latin. Krishna was the Hindu. And all these stories that was told about Osiris and Tasmus, and then they broke it in English, Jesus. But in Hebrew, it was Yeshua. And in Islam, it was Isa. So now, what the preachers do is they speak about things that they have no true facts on. They have a summary or a subject, subject being under something underneath, sub. They don't have an overview of what's going on because it wasn't taught to them by those who walk the planet Earth with man. When we say man, we're not saying man as in uh, men. We say man as in woe man or woe man who, are, who is the original creature. So, what we teach teaching now is the woes and the stopping of all the lies from the religious circle. This religious circle is just a circle that was put together for slavery and they were only allowed to read the ministers, the reverends, was only allowed to read the Bible. They wasn't allowed to read the newspapers or any other books. They wasn't allowed to speak anything but what they said in the shh, in the shh was the church. And the church was basically uh, the bond that they started this movement in. And the books that the Europeans had, they brought that from Europe, and it was in Latin. That was the uh, Latin, and from Latin they needed an English version. So they had an English version translated by William Tensdale, who was the same person as Shakespeare the same same people actually the same person so when these people came to America they brought their Bible and in that Bible right they tried to explain what they couldn't explain and those blacks or what they call themselves blacks because that's what they call them black right but the word black was only a, a, a word used to block the people from this truth that we do now speak now and what we call pimp up. So, you had Farrakhan, right? You had Wallace Dean, right? Which, oh yeah, it's, it's, people say oh he's a great man uh, he did this and when I was in prison and he, you know he was my he was my imam and first of all there should be no prisons there should be no prisons and the reason why there shouldn't be no prisons because the children the, as they grow into adults and which is adulterous when they should be Mukminun and Mukminati, 
when they grow into this lifestyle is a lifestyle of pits, falls, and traps. Pitfalls and traps. These traps were put down before they were born. So if they're not on the narrow and the straight, they will succumb to the traps and the tricks and there's penalties for that. And this is what is called fines. They call them fines so they will have to pay their way. And then after the fines and penalties, then they call it time, where they take time out their life. And because of a system that's programming the children to do wrong. And they do not know the laws. And this is the, the main, the main, what we're talking about. This is the main topic. To learn the state constitution. Now people will say, well, uh, we, we need to learn the federal constitution. The state constitution gives more direction on what is needed is covered by the federal constitution but to get to the federal constitution you need to see what's in the state constitution you need to see how they make their laws and their body of government and who when who's going to come and vote and who can be voted and what age for this and where is the money coming from taxation and what part of the land is this and how townships is to be created. That's all in the state constitution. And this should have been taught to you 40 years ago. When somebody said that they're great and they got something going on in Africa and they got something going on in Ghana and they got something going on in this country. Now, what about this particular country here? Why have not it been put here because they know not what they do and they emulate by tradition the tradition of men and they think that men is supposed to lead when that's not the natural order of life the natural order of life is when women who created man continue to guide man in this realm that she was given to called earth she is called earth she is the one and until we get them to that degree of self-governing and getting into the laws that's governed them now so they can critique the law correct the law and get into the law so they will be the law givers so they will be the ones that's in place, in government, because we, the people, is the government. The government is not the paperwork. The government is not the office buildings. The government is the people. And we send representations or representatives to a place where we can implement the things that's good for us. We now have been through the two main reasons. You have your preachers and by way of Islam you have Farrakhan. Those are two ways that we can cut this system, make change, cut the system of oppression, make change by getting into the laws that's governing in us. And I am Skate Master Spark. I am Anand Gabriel, the 19th. I'm Your Excellency Derek N. Wade. I am that new school for each and every woman to understand her true position on and in this realm. Pip up. I did say that.